I coach many FC24 players and still many of them are using wrong settings. Settings can make a big difference in game. Yes, I think settings are very important. If you are using the wrong ones, you will suffer. Okay, let's start with the visual settings. I use player name and indicator. Why player name? Because see guys, sometimes it can be confusing to think, okay, this player is on the ball, that player is on the ball. Some players resemble in game and some don't have in game faces, especially the opponent's players. I just feel it is better like this okay player indicator size i have changed it to small i feel small is better for me because it doesn't take too much space on the screen and i can actually focus on the screen right this one is important play styles plus overhead indicators i keep it off so many players still use it on it is not worth it guys because see it adds stutter lag many of you have experienced this already keep it off next player switch indicator i use it on many people prefer it to be off what is it it is the little icon that it is the little icon over the player's head when we are second man pressing so if you want to know which player will second man press when you're playing the game keep it on otherwise if it is too distracting keep it off rest of the settings on that screen don't matter every time i get asked what camera settings do i use guys i use tele broadcast all right and custom settings height is 15 zoom is zero far sight focus is also zero these are my camera settings please stop asking me in comments what are your camera settings what are your camera settings oh i'm just kidding you can ask anything you want to ask these things don't matter man some people think oh if you put difficulty to beginner you'll play easier opponents this shit doesn't matter in online games now this is the real thing so many people still don't understand that preset is set to competitive all right it is always set to competitive when we are playing champs rivals etc short assistance i have explained it many times i use assisted last time i made a video about settings many people were actually advocating for precision shooting it might be good i did try it after those comments but i still prefer assisted shooting i know ea this year said that precision shooting is more rewarding if you feel your shots are very inconsistent you can put it to precision and try but for me it is not worth the risk versus reward i stick to my decision of using assisted time finishing is important i always preach it if you are someone who has still not learned it what are you doing please go learn time finishing even after all these videos that i make people are not using time finishing even if you have delay if you get the feel for it this will be game changing it can give you one to two extra wins in weekend league for sure so if you are a rank five player you can go to rank four just by using timed finishing it is that influential passing through pass assistance semi all right we don't want to use manual lob through pass semi or manual we are not going to use manual of course semi this is important last video i said i am using semi settings now guys it is still very good but i keep changing it sometimes when the gameplay is very bad i use it semi sometimes even in semi especially when the gameplay is bad my aiming is too off that is when i switch to assisted but like i said i keep switching between semi and assisted so you might want to try both in the last video i was using semi i currently i'm using assisted but i do use semi at times as well which one is better there is no definitive answer for majority of players this year semi is the better setting cross assistance i usually used to use semi but this year because of whip pass plus i use assisted all right so we have players like bacha davis howards of course we want to use assisted lob pass assistance i use again assisted pass receiver lock if you have bad gameplay you want to use animation start if you have good gameplay you want to use late again i keep switching between these two settings all right pass receiver lock power up is a very good option if you have terrible game player like i said all these settings are useful the majority of players use late and if you ask me which is the best one i would argue late is the best one on paper because it gives you the ability to actually change your input at the very last moment but if you have bad gameplay then you might want to use animation start or power up so it is simple if you have good gameplay use late otherwise use power up or animation start I experiment with all of these settings currently i am using late i keep switching between animation start and late but currently i am using late the reason for explaining all these settings is because people think they will get an instant magical fix and they will start winning games when it is not like that you can have the best possible settings according to your own individual gameplay 
and then take it from there but it is not a magic fix precision pass sensitivity i really don't use precision pass i use r1 square sometimes i keep it at normal because it is already hard as it is i don't want to use high precision pass sensitivity clearance assistance i use directional it is the best setting possible jockey will always be manual even to this day people still ask me advanced defending or tactical defending advanced defending is the best feature in fc24 advanced defending is the best way to defend on fc24 point blank period oh but ai helps you to defend in tactical defending is a minimal difference that is a minimal difference you wanna always consider pros and cons pros of advanced defending far 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 outweigh the cons of advanced defending it gives you the ability to push players off the ball when you have players with bruiser playstyle plus the normal bruiser playstyle this is game changing you want to use it you want to push the players off the ball pass block assistance on it will of course be on you don't want to use this as off by the way some people use it off because they don't want that lunge animation but it is very rare man i, I keep it on all right advanced defending please use advanced defending learn to use advanced defending you can watch my defending tutorials switching on air balls and loose balls i use switching on air balls and loose balls i know many pros use manual but i have been using on air balls and loose balls since years and i don't want to change it you might want to try on air balls and loose balls i believe for majority of players this is the best setting never never ever use automatic all right only on loose balls is a rare occurrence either on air balls and loose balls or only on air balls i recommend on air balls and loose balls auto switching move assistance is going to be low most people use none and that i believe is the best setting but whenever i switch to it I just don't feel the same way because I am used to of playing on low. I don't want to make that change. I don't feel it is worth it for me, so I keep it at low. But you might want to try none. Right stick switching, classic player rotation, adaptive. Obviously, classic and player relative. Classic and player relative. Player relative is the best setting, not ball relative. If you are someone who is using ball relative and you feel you cannot go to the next level when you are defending you might want to try player relative and go through the hard curve of learning how to switch like this many people have a problem when they see i use three rush six sensitivity but at the same time when you look at my gameplay i'm able to switch very fast very quickly and that is just perfect switching with three right stick switching right however lately after the patch i don't know if it was a shadow nerf or something i felt like three was a little bit wavered for me so i went back to four and now four is very good three is still very good i would say if you struggle and if you want the same switching as it was last year and the year before keep it at three all right and once you're comfortable with three keep it at four three and four is the best of both worlds so experiment with both i have been using three since november now we are in late feb and I am going to switch to 4 for now. Next player switching. Most people use classic. I use closest to ball simply because I feel it is the most consistent way. It will always give me player who is closest to ball. Classic isn't very consistent as compared to this one. I like consistency. So that is why I use closest to ball. Player lock. Obviously, obviously the best feature in the game the best attacking feature in the game player lock will always be on and i will make a dedicated tutorial on player lock if you don't know how to use player lock you are missing out you want to turn it on and practice the player lock save assistance again this doesn't apply to online matches it is irrelevant analog sprint on or off now now like i said there is a way where you can control the jockeying speed with analog sprint if you turn it on you will be able to control the jockey speed of your defender the harder you push the right trigger the faster he will run so you can actually control the pace of your jockey which is a game changing feature but at the same time it takes away from the speed boost and i am someone who loves the speed boost i am fine using the normal jockey so i am not using analog sprint jockey i am using it at off but if you're someone who struggles with jockey you might want to turn on analog sprint jockey on and it has the potential to change the way you defend on fc24 for me i prefer my speed boost i am good with normal jockey so i keep it off user vibration feedback it is obviously off i believe these are the best updated fc24 settings now 
Check this video out here to learn more about Analog Sprint Jockey.